A tranquil night and a bitter climb. The shrine ruins holds many secrets. When such is the cry of an animal not oft heard, but one that so many seek. A hunter cannot ignore their curiosity. They cannot let a mystery go unanswered. They cannot help but scale to the highest mountains of these lofty ruined pinnacles. They cannot help but look to the beautiful landscape below and wonder what lies unseen. But to hold a glimpse, a movement, a flitter atop the bridge. What is it? What could it be? A strange life form, beautiful and regal, majestic and enigmatic. This is the Flitting Fox! Oh yes, my fellow hunters, it's time for the most incredible creatures in all of Monster Hunter Rise. The rare endemic life, one per map, and each of them truly worth finding. They are honestly more fascinating than a lot of the monsters, and one of them is bigger than every monster in the game. You think about that. So without further ado, let's become Silver. Ecologists. So we will start with the Shrine Ruins. You want to head there at night, and you want to head to the Remobra nest up high on the mountain. There, atop the gatehouse, you will see a little fox looking absolutely lovely. The coloring is so cool. The white on the greys against the moonlight. It really does look like something straight out of a fairy tale. And fairy tale is right. This is the snow-faced fox. And it is said that its tail is shaped in such a way that it makes people at first glance think that it is nine separate ones. Ergo, this is based on the classic nine-tailed fox mythical creature, which is really, really cool to see. A fox that inhabits the shrine ruins. Extremely rare, it has been seen perched atop the gate leading into the ruins. Its large bushy tail has a unique pattern that gives off the impression that it's split into nine separate parts. But in reality, it's just one large tail. Despite its majestic appearance, it's a quite playful creature. And playful creature is right! Make sure you say hi, because if you bust out your gestures, it will get all excited and do some flips for you. And that is just adorable! <laughs> and this is just the first one, and the easiest to find. This has just essentially always been there at night, so you should have no trouble. And obviously, it hurts to do this, but we need to test if you hit it. Well, it runs off back to its den in the mountain. What a creature. Also, with all of these, make sure you do grab a picture close up, or it won't actually update as you having had found them, and you'll need to go find them again. Something I know firsthand. Snow-faced fox acquired. <laughs> There is a wrecked dragon ship from long ago, frosted to the rock after falling to a mighty foe. We scale the rock, we trudge on deck, and we find something that makes us go. What the heck? Alrighty then, guys! Nighttime, frost, islands! Head to the iced over ship in Area 8 and look out to the horizon. You may have to wait a few moments, but eventually... Well, I mean, just look at it. Those seeming eyes glowing in the gloom, staring into your soul. But this is but a facade, for the true creature lies underneath that shell. This is a snail. A huge, dirty, great, big snail. And it's just wonderful! Said to reflect the very universe, the stars above. 
its back, it is known as the Monk Snail. A gigantic sea snail from the Frost Islands. It hates bright lights and so remains in the sea during the day. At night it surfaces where squids and other such potential prey gather. It possesses an organ that projects various patterns of light onto its skin. Its eyeball like glow and colossal silhouette are the dread of every sailor in the region. And that interests me because I, I feel like you, you can just avoid this thing quite easily. It's big and slow and very noticeable, but maybe it's more a bad omen than anything actually dangerous itself. But, oh God, it's so big. It's just, like, I, this is endemic life. Like, it's not even like a small monster that happens to be a bit big, like a Laranoff. This is endemic life, yet it's colossally outscaling every large monster in the game. I really want to go up to it. I really want to boop it in with my greatsword, but sadly, I will have to settle for a wave and a yell. Yes, if you gesture, you can get it to rear its snaily head out the water and give you a nice little shout. Get your picture and Picture-wise, you might want to go to the top of the actual mast here. This was the only place I could get it to accept that I'd actually seen it to update it in the Hunter Notes. But, yeah, the Monk Sale, everyone. Acquired. Ancient ruins in the sandiest of plains. Digging and delving, searching for an audience with the king. An opening in the rock, a tomb lay within. I wonder what mysteries this will bring. Ancient and crumbling, but full of wonder. In the distance shining, a bird glowing like thunder. The sandy plains then, everyone, houses a temple which houses a wing drake, the only wing drake, in fact, in Monster Hunter Rise, and it is one hell of a majestic wing drake. Golden tipped, its frill proud, the red glowing eye. It is just brilliant. It is perfect, and I adore it. You want to just head here underneath uh, the uh, big, expansy desert zones at the back of the map, and you will be able to uh, get him during the day when he has a little bit of a break to cool off from the sun. So, who is this charming animal then? Well, he is the Reggie Trice. A rare wing drake of the sandy plains. It usually nests in caves, but will occasionally emerge to bask in the sun, improving its metabolism. On its head is a comb that looks like a winged crown or a cape, which, combined with its glittering scales and languid form, gives it something of a regal air. Ah, oh, I cannot express how much I adore this guy. I want one. I want one as a pet, but I'm not allowed. Because it's not real. It's not actually a real. A real thing. Oh, okay, if you do give him a few little waves and gestures, he will react to you, but nothing too crazy compared to the previous entries, but that does not make him any lesser. What a magnificent animal. Yes, you're magnificent, and I want to steal you. What? And, of course, the bop test. If you do give him, well, said bop, he will simply retreat to his cave in the wall, presumably where his nest lay. So, yeah, the Regitrice has been acquired. The flooded forest, a lush landscape. Everything so vibrant and alive. Well, the temple atop contains much within. In truth, a serpent god to be found. A tumble, a slide, a falling true. And into a secret passageway is where you will find a tomb of old. And on top of it, a crack. I wonder what could be lurking beneath that. Hello! This... Guy is fan 
fantastic. It is a feathered serpent based on the Quetzalcoatl, a feathered serpent mythical creature deity that the Aztecs were a big fan of. And I, well, they had great taste because look at him. He's just so fantastic. Fantastic. But before we fawn over this almightiest oh, of wigglers, well, how do you find it? So, it's the temple. There's a little entrance at the very back of it that uh, you can wirebug up to or down to and walk within. You want to start to the expedition at day, and then you're going to need to wait a while because it needs to be dusk before he will pop out. So, just kind of stand there and eventually he will appear. And oh, this guy, the perfect blend of the reptile and the feathers. He looks absolutely majestic. I think he is so, so beautifully designed. And he really can engage with you in a big way. If he doesn't like your gesture, he'll give you the laugh as a response. If he's a big fan of you, he'll have a little twirly dance. And if he really likes you, well, you can convince him with the call gesture to actually spit out healing juices. Let's go with, we'll go with juices that will quite literally heal you. So this guy is full of secrets and I find that absolutely wonderful. But what exactly is this guy? He is the Quetzal Cobra. A rare snake that inhabits the flooded forest, it can fan out its neck, appearing like the wings of a bird, in a display used to threaten predators or attract mates. It secretes a fluid from its mouth that has healing properties. It used to be worshipped by humans, but this practice has disappeared over time, and now it just lives its enigmatic life free of all the fuss. Oh yes, very, very much Quetzalcoatl. I mean, it's not even trying to be subtle about it, and you know what? That is absolutely great. He is, I, I know I just said it with the wing drake, but you know, we're, we're progressing along a story of endemic life here. He is definitely my favorite up to this point. I just, oh, why can we not capture them and put them in our rooms in this game? That's all I want. It's all I want. <laughs> All right, uh, Quetzal Cobra acquired. Deep in the volcano, the rumbling of monsters can be heard. But beyond all that, much rarer, much more magnificent, is a very special bird. Through a hole in the wall, a climb to another, the heart of the volcano reveals itself. Bubbling, boiling, the heat is intense. But remain here long enough, and you're in for a wondrous series of events. The final stop then on our journey is the Lava Caverns, where we are, well, I mean, treated to a phoenix, an actual god, well, not literally actually, but, you know, based on a phoenix, and that's just, <laughs> it's so cool and glowy, and cool and glowy is like the best combination for something to be. Before we get into this then, how do you get it? Well, you gotta go to the map at night, and then you have to wait for dawn. It will take like 20 minutes, at least in my experience. A fair investment this one and getting to it really is the heart of the volcano over at the top of the map and that's very very cool eventually though our lovely new friend will appear and just i mean take your breath away he's so goddamn fantastic but what is he well, this then is a Hellbill, and that is quite an apt name. A rare bird found near the crater of the lava caverns. Its vibrant red feathers granted immunity to the dangers of magma. It bathes in lava to burn off gems and metabolic waste. This spectacle has resulted in it becoming a symbol of rebirth among mankind. So yeah. Phoenix, and you can literally see it fly over to the nice lava bath and have a little bit of a clean. It's just, ah, magnificent attention to detail. It really, really is. It will appear, have a fly around back and forth for a little bit, and, uh, well, let you get all of the pictures that you need. I just, I, 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 I just, what? 
cool system, right? I know we've had rare endemic life in World and Iceborne, you can capture them, but I'm just so happy that it has continued. And while these ones, the rarity is not so much getting them to appear, it's finding where they do appear on the map, it's still so satisfying to get your complete collection. It really is like almost a Phoenix Peacock hybrid, and uh, while it's not my favorite, it is the one that I think is the coolest, or at least the most sort of mystical. Like, I mean, Firebird in the heart of the volcano? I, uh, come on! So, if you give this one a little bit of a uh, boop, it will actually give you a very impressive display of flying skills before swooping up and out the volcano to its nest, which I think is just absolutely great, but sadly, Anjanath cannot abide being on a map without the Hellbill. So, with that said then, guys, the Hellbill acquired, and that makes five. What a collection for Silver Ecologist. Our lovely fox, our lovely snail, our lovely wing drake, our lovely wiggler, and our lovely hellbird. They really are such a magnificent collection. I hope you have fun finding them yourself, getting your pictures, and, well, enjoying them. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Like if you did, subscribe for more. Please consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until then, a good one. Yeah. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye